In this video, I'm going to show you the basics of using Audacity, which is a free recording program for both PCs and Macs. When you first open Audacity, you'll see this help box, which you might find useful for advanced features not discussed here or additional help. There are just three steps you need to know. Record, edit, and export. To start, save the project on your desktop. This will create two separate files that you have to keep together while you're working in Audacity. At the top, you'll see the six common recording buttons, pause, play, stop, rewind, fast forward, and record. These are all you need in order to get started. Check that the microphone you want to use is selected, either the built-in mic or USB plug-in type. In a quiet location, when you're ready, press record and start reading. Press stop when you're done reading and then play to listen to how it sounds. It may take you a few times to get a reading that you like, so one way to make this easier is to briefly pause after each paragraph. There are two types of editing. The first is editing as you go. If you don't like the first paragraph reading, press the X to delete the track and try again. But if you like the way your paragraph sounds, click just past where your paragraph ended, then press record. This will start recording on another track line so that you can practice your paragraph before putting it in to the top track, which will be one continuous reading of your piece. If you don't like the reading of your next paragraph, delete it here. But once you like it, highlight and then go up to edit, copy, click at the top where you want it to go, edit, paste. Now you have your paragraphs so they flow together. Once you're done with that track, delete it, click to the end, and press record to start recording your next paragraph. Keep working through your piece until you have one continuous reading. The second type of editing is editing at the end. Let's say that you've finished your whole recording, but now you find a section that you'd like to re-record. One easy way is to first note the beginning and end time of the section you'd like to re-record. Then scroll to the end of your piece and re-record the paragraph as before. When you're satisfied, stop, go back to the section you, you like to delete, highlight, press the delete key, then go back to the track, highlight, copy, click, and paste then delete the spare track. Now that you've got your reading done, go through and trim out those extra long pauses by highlighting and then pressing the delete key. But one trick is to highlight and then press the letter C. Doing this will give you a preview of what your cut will sound like. Readjust the highlighting until it's just how you like it and trim between all of the different paragraphs. After you've trimmed all your paragraphs, Listen to your audio a few times for good flow. When you're done, click on effects up at the top and choose compressor. Doing this will help normalize the volume of your reading. Then press play and listen to it one more time. Now you're ready to export to a file that can be read by other computers. Up at file, choose export and choose WAV or WAVE from the drop down menu. Save it to your desktop so it's easy to find and then press save. You can add an additional information here or just press OK. Saving it as a WAV file should allow you to open it and play it through a variety of options like Windows Media Player, QuickTime, and iTunes. This is the file that you should upload or send to others for them to listen to. You can make changes in the Audacity file here later, but you'll need to re-export as a new file. For help, tutorials, or additional effects, see the website through the help tab at the top. Thanks for watching.